Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be diving back into Lightroom. There's some big updates that we need to talk about. One thing in particular that I've been waiting for, feels like for years, which is to be able to adjust color locally with things like the adjustment brush, rather than just across the whole photo. We're going to talk about it. It's the Tutorials Day. <laughs> to Tutorial Tuesday, where each and every week, each and every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new, fresh photography tutorial, apart from a few weeks, but we'll just completely ignore those. Let's pretend that didn't happen. We're back into Tutorial Tuesday, and this week, we are going to be looking at Lightroom, and like I say, we're going to be looking at one of the updates that came out in June, so we're a little bit behind, but that's no worries. I've been wanting to talk about this for ages, and it's something that allows you to adjust the hue of colors on a local adjustment, so the adjustment brush, gradient filter, radial filter, any of those, you can adjust now the hue of colors. And that means, why this is so important is that means you can protect certain areas of your photo from getting destroyed by adjusting color. So for example, if you wanna adjust the oranges in one part of the photo, then you have a good chance of destroying things like skin tones and things like that, or you might ruin a different part of the photo or just the yellows and suddenly the grass is ruined and all that kind of stuff. But being able to do it locally means that you can target specific areas for you to make your hue adjustments, which is really, really handy. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we can do. I've got two photos we're gonna work with. This is the first one, so let's dive right in to this photo here. Now, what I wanna do is be able to alter this background a little bit to make it a little bit more autumnal. So a bit orange, a bit yellow, not too much, but just bring out a little bit of a stylized look and, and kind of adjust those colors. But if I go down to the HSL tab, like I normally would, and start adjusting the oranges and the yellows, it's gonna really start playing with our model's skin tone, which is not what we wanna do at all. So, we are gonna use an adjustment brush to paint on a mask, and then we're gonna use the new hue adjustment slider to actually change those colors. So let's first off start by clicking the adjustment brush up here, and we're gonna use the auto mask feature to draw this mask. Now that means Lightroom's gonna try and stay within the lines it thinks we're trying to target. So let's come over here, we've got flow up to 100. I'm gonna just use the mouse wheel to increase the size of this brush, and let's start painting on. Now I can't see where that is, so I'm gonna press O on the keyboard to actually see the mask. That's gonna bring up a mask overlay. You can also do that by clicking this checkbox down below the photo. But I'm gonna start painting this on. You can see Lightroom's already trying to paint within the lines of these trees, but no problem. We just keep painting over and it keeps going. But you can see it's protecting our model here from our adjustment layer because it's not painting red over her. Now, if there's any areas that you think you've gone over where you didn't mean to, like in this case, I've gone over our model a little bit, I can press and hold Alt and it's gonna bring up a new kind of circle there. I can still adjust it with the mouse wheel, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take out the mask that I've accidentally painted on her, all the way up to here. And there we go. We've got a pretty decent mask. I'll probably go in and just fill in some of the edges there. But for the sake of this tutorial, that is absolutely fine. So let's press O to actually turn off the mask overlay so we can see the photo as it is. And now we can make pretty much any adjustment we want. So exposure, for example, we could bring that down, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna adjust the colors. And that's where this hue slider here on the right comes in. Now we can start by just pulling that left and right. So for example, if I pull that to the left, that's gonna bring it more towards where I want it to be. So now you can see already, it's starting to get sort of orange and yellow. We get almost a very teal and orange kind of look. It's probably getting way too much though, but I can go all the way and make it crazy like that, or the other way of course as well, and double click to reset it in the middle. But something that makes this a little bit easier, especially if you wanna just make subtle adjustments, is using this use fine adjustment tick box. So if I take that on, that is now going to slow down how quickly this pointer moves left and right as I drag. No matter if I drag the mouse really fast, it's just gonna really slow that down, making it much more gradual and much more of a subtle change. So let's start by bringing this to the left again. You can see as I bring the mouse left, it's really slowing down how much that's moving. Now I can look at the photo and I've got the chance now to see where I wanted to get to. That's a very subtle change, so I think a little bit more. Let's go down to minus 20, see how that looks. 
That looks pretty good. We can use the backslash key on the keyboard to see before and after. So this is obviously after, this is before, and this is after. So very subtle change. Let's go a little bit further with it. Down to about, about here is probably fine. So we've got a nice teal and orange look, a bit more of an autumnal feel. Let's see before. So before is a little bit more sort of green and vibrant and after is like this. We can also bring down the saturation a little bit if we want to, which I think looks pretty good. And we can still go down to the HSL tab and affect things like the oranges. So like, for example, her skin tone there, we can still bring that down a little bit. I think that looks good. And we end up with a really nice before and after. So before, which I still think look really nice, but after as well. So before is more of a summery kind of feel. After is a little bit more kind of autumnal feel to it. But I think that's really nice. It's a really good way of protecting, in this case, your skin tones, but protecting any color in the photo while adjusting the colors elsewhere. But what I am gonna show you before we end the tutorial is what you can actually do here with regards to changing colors. So for example, you can do things like that, a bit of color grading, no problem protecting certain areas, but you can use this technique to completely transform any color in your photo. So with this photo here, it was obviously shot in a very deliberate way. So we've obviously got the yellow lipstick, the sugar, the lemon. If I was gonna change the color of the lips, I would obviously just reshoot it with the right color lipstick. However, this is a great way to show you exactly how easy it is to change any color inside Lightroom now with this slider and with the adjustment layer. So I've actually gone ahead and already masked the lips because you know, you don't wanna see that, it's kind of boring. But if I hover over the mask here, you can see I've masked out the lips. I use auto mask exactly like I did with the last photo and I just cleaned it up a little bit. But here we are, we've got this. So now with this mask selected, we can do all kinds of stuff. Like again, like exposure if we wanted to, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for the color changing. So let's tick off the use fine adjustment. Let's go a little bit crazy. Let's make these hot pink. So we can bring these down to the left. Let's go to something like that. And then let's bring saturation down and you can see we've immediately made these pop as kind of pink lips. Now it's not a perfect example. And like I say, I wouldn't use this specific one, but it gives you a great idea of how powerful this is. Let's make them blue. We can come all the way over to the side here and we've now got blue lips with the lemon there. And that's how easy it is. Once you've masked it, if you get a good mask, you can change the hue on anything to make it any color so of course you've got the ability to protect your skin tones, your other colors while editing specific parts of the photo, but you've got this incredible ability to change the color of anything within your photo without affecting anything else. A very powerful tool. I'm really happy it's finally in Lightroom. Like I say, it's been in Capture One for ages. I actually use this in Capture One quite a lot and we could do a full video on that if you want. If you want to see anything else in Tutorial Tuesday, or if you have any questions about anything you've seen, pop them all down in the comments. I'd also love to hear if you have any experience doing any of this. Like I say, this update's been out since June, so maybe you've already done this. Maybe you've got some tips for how to use it in a good way, or maybe you've got some interesting photos that you've done it with. I'd love to hear about it all down in the comments. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps us out. I will see you in the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.